Welcome back children once again. This time we will be seeing the third part of chapter 6 formatting in MS PowerPoint. Today we will be discussing two things they are adding bullets and numbering and indenting text. Adding bullets and numbering. Bullets are used in text to present important information from a large content. To show a sequential process, number is used. Bullets and numbers are used for two different purposes. If you want information presented like this, one after another, as important highlighted ones, then you need to use bullets like this. Can you see my cursor moving? These dots represent bullets. But if you want to write a sequence of instruction 1, 2, 3 in that order, then you have to use the numbers. When the sequence is not important, bullets are used. When you don't want it in a particular sequence, you only want to highlight the points, then you can use bullets like these. If you want it in a particular order, you have to use numbers. Bullets and numbering can be multi-level. You can do it in multiple levels too. To add bullets, select the required text on the home tab from the paragraph group Click the down arrow of the bullets icon. The bullet drop down list appears. None option is selected by default. Click the required bullet. The text will appear in the bulleted format. If you want to add any bullets or numbering, the first step that you have to do is you have to select the text. Then go to home tab. From the paragraph group, you have to click on the bullets drop down arrow. By default, None is the option given for bullets. When you want bullets, you have to select the bullet that you need to insert into your document. Click the required bullet. The text will appear in the bulleted format. To add numbers, select the required text. Here also you have to first select the required text. Again, go to home tab. From the paragraph group, click the down arrow of the numbering icon. The numbering drop down list appears. In this case, you are clicking on the numbering icon. The numbering drop down list will appear. The none option is always selected by default here. Click the required numbering style. The text appears in a sequential numbered format. When you click on the numbering, it will give you the data like this in a sequential numbered format. Indenting text. Indentation is used between paragraphs to distinguish them and make them more readable. Indentation is done when you want to make a separation between the paragraphs and make them more readable for the viewers. You can indent either the first line or the entire paragraph. You can indent the first line of the paragraph or the whole paragraph itself according to your requirements. When indented, the paragraph does not start from the margin. Indentation is used in bulleted or numbered text to show that the list is multi-level. It is also used in bulleted and numbered text to show the list is of a multi-level. The main bullet or number starts from the margin. When you do indentation, the first one will be always closer to the margin. The next level starts slightly towards the right from the margin. The second one will move slightly away from the margin. To indent a paragraph, place the cursor before the first letter of the paragraph. Here you don't need to select the whole paragraph, you need to place it before the first letter of the paragraph. On the home tab, from the paragraph group, click the launcher. The paragraph dialog box appears. From the indentation section, click the down arrow of the special box. The drop down list appears. You have to go to the indentation section, click the down arrow of the special box, the drop down list will come. Select the first line to indent the starting point of the paragraph or hanging to indent the entire paragraph. You have to either select the starting point of the paragraph or hanging to indent the entire paragraph. In the by spin box, use up and down arrows to set the indent distance. So you can either increase or decrease the indent value using the spin box. Click OK. The paragraph is indented. 
to indent a bulleted or numbered list. Now you need to know how to indent a bulleted or numbered list. Place the cursor at the beginning of the line that you want to indent as the next level. You need to first place the cursor at the beginning of the text. On the home tab from the paragraph group, click the launcher like before itself. The paragraph dialog box appears. From the indentation section, in the before text spin box, use up and down arrows to adjust the space before the bullet or number. In the indentation section, you have to use the before text spin box this time and click on the up and down arrows to increase or decrease the indentation value. Click OK. The line is indented and appears as the next level. With this, we come to the end of today's presentation. Please go through these contents and understand the concept. Thank you.